Now we move on to the next step of creating a player and spawning the player. Okay. Yeah. What we're going to do then is create a new source file. We go out of here and create something new here called myplayer.h and then myplayer.cpp. We'll simply add some dummy things here to make it compile. Oops. That double quote get me gets me always. It's great. My player.h. Here we go. Now add it to the CMake lists in a new category. Let's expand that a bit. And then also rename this to my player.cpp and add the header file as well. There we go, and we can close that, compile quickly, and have CMIC reload, see our player right here. What we'll do here is implement a new class called see my player and also include isimpleactor.h, which we had right here, implementing the pure virtuals that we painstakingly had to implement ourselves for game modes. Oh, it wasn't that many. <laughs> no, only 50 or so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we should be able to compile this, I believe. Yeah. So there's no logic in this actor at all, and it's not registered, but we would be able to utilize it later here. But quickly, let's just register this. So we include game plugin.h and utilize the i entity registrator once again we create our registrator actually making a class c player registrator public i entity registrator whoops okay. virtual void uh, register override and then here we would then register our player i believe to do that we would we need to utilize the game plugin interface or the game plugin class that is sorry the game plugin register entity with default component the default component being c what do we call it c my player Mm -hmm. with a name called this player and then we can compile this uh, oh yeah what we actually have to do is use an extension helper and this is called c object game object extension helper where you use the per first template argument as c my player and then the parent being i simple actor this is a legacy implementation that actually helps support multiplayer functionality this will go away in the future but for now you need to use the game object extension helper in order for this to compile there we go and now our player is registered and we could theoretically spawn that through the game rules so let's try that what we want to do then is simply create an actor by acquiring the actor system system equals gn gn key game framework get uh, i actor system and then what we'll do is we will simply call create actor on this we'll be passing the channel id that we already have from on client connect name our actual entity in this case it doesn't matter what we call it we could call it call it my player i like the name yeah let's do that let's call it colin <laughs> it's a great name <laughs> and then the actual name of the entity class we want to spawn. This has to match exactly what you specify here. Uh, then the parameter here is the position we want to spawn at. Let's just say zero for now. The rotation, let's go for identity, default rotation, and the scale, which we'll just set to default being one. And that's all. Let's see here, then we need to return the value which is actually an actor and check if it is not no. 
what is the error we have here? Ah, we actually need to include iActor system.h. And there we go. Now on connect, we will then create an actor, which is an instance of my player, and then handle that. On disconnect, we want to do a similar thing where we get the actor system and notify it so that we can remove the actor. We simply call remove actor with the channel ID. Uh, the question is, how do we get the entity ID? And what we can do first is simply say, if I actor, the actor equals get actor by channel ID. So we simply go ahead and find the actor first inside the actor system by using the channel ID that we get passed in here. And then, whoops, let's not mess up the code. And then we simply do p actor get entity ID. And we can remove the actor right away. So to summarize on connect, we create the actor and create the entity along with the entity, sorry, the game object extension. And on disconnect, we remove that actor. And that's it.